Train is they show him this DVD one by one. They got him a lot to remember. As there is a lot to absorb. They also use him question by helping people remember this and information. And you gotta use him that learning book when they will give it to you. Educational materials provided. Big mob Aboriginal people they can look that picture because family they've been passed away. Yes. This DVD, my them, them pictures. Please, you can look before showing. It's important to know how to cook on this tucker so you can, can be safe by eating. If your job is like a takeaway shop or supermarket or a general store, like a child care centre or a Meals on Wheels program, it's really important for you to know how to touch him and cook on the tucker. If, food isn't prepared if properly, the tucker is not cooked proper sick. way or you know more handle him the tucker right way, it can make him you're really sick. This one is called food poisoning. Sometimes, Sometimes it can make him you have stomach pain, vomiting, or you have diarrhea, or you pass away. The third time, don't have to look no good one like you, or the smell him no good one, or that tastes him no good one to make him you sick. Can you really be careful that food poisoning really can stop him? Like this video, we talk about what that food poisoning you mean, how to stop him, and what that food law you mean. This one rule they talk about like that book from the health department. More information can be obtained there on the from a local environmental health, health officer, or environmental health or there on environmental what there on food poisoning. Sometimes people, Sometimes people they can get sick from the thing drink. what they drink him or they eat him. People, people can they can have really no one and can start stomach, or have to go to the and they can start the vomiting. Or they can go to the toilet all the time. People might also People have they can have headache or they can feel hot. If you really no good one, cases, people might people find, they find, find him really hard, blood look. Or have trouble breathing. People they can, can even pass die. away. That is why that this, that's video, why is this so video is really important. You or your you family, or your family have you might even have food past. poisoning and know how bad it can get. From long time, and you say we how no good him can be. If what you watch this video careful, properly so you can make sure the person who will name the tucker, then when you even give, to give to him the tucker, or you even make him, he can get sick. There are four main causes this is an improbable reason, blood is food are. poisoning, this one, Chemical poison, there are poison where they put them like that fruit or that vegetable. Natural, nat natural poison like there and you find them like a green potato and like that reef fish, cheeky mushrooms or like that sidecat nuts. You can't eat him. Not for eating. You can't eat him this much thing, 
where you find him like the tucker, like hair, dead insects, or bits of glass, or that plastic. Germs, that are germs, that most common reason, like I have food poisoning, germs. Bacteria and viruses. There are named two different types of germs. These are named bacteria and viruses. Doctors there are doctors that talk about the medical word bacteria and viruses. Old people, and the old people baby, and there are they already sick. And that weak get one, sick from germs they get sick from the germs more than that good one people. Bacteria there are that bacteria in that small little one animal. On your they skin, sit on all around on us. On food, they sit on like your skin and, and the inside like your body. Blataka, langae, and like that ground. That bacteria, only a little one, we can look only got an eye. We look at that bacteria, we got to use that microscope. This is a this machine, is a machine. Very strong it look like that strong it one glasses. Look like this it make him that small one thing, but look bigger. big one. This is a microscope, you've got a lot of pieces of glass, like so you can look at your eye. For example, you look, look like this hands. Look at the eye, it looks look small. small one. Under, Under that magnifying glass, glass it looks look really big. When, when we put them under that microscope, you can see we can look like him head and we can even look like him teeth like this one. If you, if you take him a little bit of hair from, from your head, head and put him under that microscope, him can you look can like the that tree. Looks like a tree. This and that microscope this glasses and make him look make that thing really so big. Next, the like that and size, that really small one, bacteria that here. bacteria. bacteria that bacteria can, can spread really fast, right like that warm and wet bacteria areas. That and bacteria can grow more bacteria every 20 so minutes. After three hours, so after that three hours, that bacteria can turn into, can turn hours, into big mob. Turn into this after five hours, it can turn into big mob again. This means that a food that is not treated properly can become very dangerous within a couple of hours. Get him, but talk up, like eat him. There are a lot of different type of germ. Him can give it your One food poisoning. Salmonella. This one is called salmonella. That salmonella, you can find him like that taco where he never even cook them properly. Or like that chicken, if him cook, Chick, that chicken, if him still look red inside, Big mob food poisoning, you well can stop him if you will follow him this mob rule. These are clean hands. Clean him like you will hand. Clean kitchen. Keep him that kitchen clean one. Proper food. And blang a right way la touch him taka. Proper food. And blang a right way la cook him taka. Put him but lay a taka long at that right place. Let's take a closer look at each of these rules. Clean, hand. Clean one hand. Germs, Germs they sit on blang a taka and lay your hand. By washing if your you're hand washing your hand and, and your fingernail, you can stop, germs from you can stop them that germs will go over like a taka. You can kill them that germs if you use some soap and water. 
When you're washing your hands, you should always use some warm water and soap. And you dry them off properly with a paper towel. You should always wash your hands before you touch the tucker. After you go to the toilet, or any other time when you've been touching with the germs, the importance of it's really important washing your hands like your hand every you time you go away to touch him something. You, should, you must always wash your hands before touching or making any food at the, anywhere. And the importance of that is because every time you go away to touch something, you don't know what you're touching. Very important that you do come back and wash your hands. Clean one kitchen. Another Bacteria can go like the kitchen bench, kitchen bench and let them tools. So it's important like clean them that right way. You gotta clean them them plate. Got them water, so you can take them off them tucker. Washing everything in hot soapy water. Rinsing Wash him everything, got him hot, soapy one water. And, what and you leave him the hot water on, let it plate, so him can take him off them soap. You and you let him the thing, what you will wash him, let dry out. If you use him that cloth or tea towel, let dry him off them plates, they got to be clean and dry. Use him them one time and then you wash him. After we clean them at kitchen benches, we gotta have to sanitize them. them. That word sanitizing it means you gotta wipe them over, got them special liquid, so you can kill them germs. Sanitizing with chemicals is different to cleaning. Sanitize him, but got him chemical in different than a clean him, but clean him in mean you gotta get rid of the tucker and the dirt. Long as sanitize him like that area, it make him really hard like that germ, like a grow again like that place. All the plates you gotta put them like that mixture, got him hot water and that sanitizer. You can also sanitize dishes in a dishwasher. You can also sanitize them in plate, like a dishwasher or a hot wash. Fly, rats Pests and like cockroaches, they can spread them the germs. Are a big problem in the kitchen. Flies, cockroaches, rats germs. and the mice, they can poison them the tucker, got them the urine and the droppings. Flies, they crawl like them place, got them the germs the like their foot. Poison food by their urine and droppings. They need to you got to keep them out by using by them flies screen and, and fix them up that gap, the wall and under them door. You feed them them if you leave them, them dirty dishes like your bench. Like cockroaches or rats, dead rats or cockroaches. They especially come out at night, make sure all their food is kept in safe place, like cupboards or fridge. So when the cockroaches come at night, they look for food, food scraps around the table area. Sometimes they bring bad disease to the people. Other of animals Other like animals dog and cats, dogs and cats, they can carry them of that bacteria, bacteria and you should keep should them at where they from that kitchen. kitchen. Proper handling. You when use them that glove or that food, tongue, but like pick them up the tucker. You should use gloves or tongs. If you do them this time, you can stop them any germs, plug get them but let that food. When After you touch your money, money you take them off them gloves. Money, money can, can have big more germs, it can, can make them you sick.
These germs can go you on touch your him that money and, and then you touch him the taka. So the germs you can sit like the money and then touch food. And you can go like the taka the germs on the money when you can touch get him. to the food from your hands. If two other person Sometimes work for like the shop, one the person him can touch him the taka and the other one him can touch him that money. And the other person can handle the money. You gotta wear him on the glove when you touch him with the tucker, and you take him off that glove when you touch him with that money. You can spread him that nugru and bacteria if you cough, or touch him your nose, touch him your face, or you breathe like the tucker. You should, you should uh, never touch food or make food if you've got diarrhea, vomiting, cause, because that will, you're gonna spread that to the food. And if the other person eats, they're taking the germs that you've spread to the food. If that other one person you meet him, they can take him the germs and spread him through the tucker inside. It's him in porton long wearing one clean one clothes an and that apron. Tucker I am sure you sit and covered up in the refrigerator. That raw one meat you should put him like different area, like the fridge. Away from that tucker where you can cook them, like that fruit. That fruit and vegetable, you should always wash them in that running water before you eat them or you cook them. The right way to cook. To make sure germs are killed, it's like make sure to let them germs to die, it's important to cook them that tucker properly way. We, we got to be careful when we cook them with that mince, burgers, burgers sausages, sausages and all that sea tucker. That on burgers and that mince, you should through. cook them properly no way, meat showing. all the way through where that raw meat in a mushroom bud. That chicken, chicken you should cook them properly. So when you cut open the so when you cut them open, the, the chicken, out, clear, the juice him come out and clear and no more raw one and got him blood. Proper storing. If, if you, you cook them that cook one tucker again, again, make, make sure, sure that the tucker is steaming, like hot. steaming hot. You put them like that 60 degrees Celsius or I one. Food the tucker you can only eat them up only one time. Do not keep heating up the same. No more eat them up them tucker big more time again. This is to if you keep the doing what the germs gotta go like the tucker. Food poisoning. Things to remember too if you're you mean important you like you keep them hot one tucker hot that you keep and that cold one tucker cold. And if you got hot foods that you keep it really hot because cause if, if you, you keep them warm, warm, bacteria are going to grow. Bacteria, bacteria is more like them warm, wet, and like a warm places, dark places. Warm dark spots. <laughs> They're on a hot one, Taka, you only should it's keep them like a 60 degrees hot Celsius and or really hot cold. one. Hot you put them the Taka, like this thing you call Bain Miri. In the metal like the stove. Trays that stay warm, called a bain marie, or on the stove. When you give him tucker like when that bain marie, you should make him hot one first. first. Cold that cold one tucker, you should give him like that five there. degrees Celsius, or cold one, five degrees longer like that fridge. If you want to give him that tucker long after, food for later, you put him that warm one tucker in a little bowl and you put him like that fridge. 
He melt him that talk of like cool down, quick one, and, and like stop, stop him that James like robot. When you, when you unfreeze him that tucker, you do him slow and like fridge, or you microwave put him quick on the microwave oven. Not just no more put them like that bench. Food and the government rules. If you work like that place where they make him and sell him tucker, that government rule him there, and you got to save him for this mob rules, that rule him say that people who sell him the tucker, you got to tell him that government. That on government, they can give it you information to teach him you how to make him and sell him the tucker. You can ask him them like that health department. That mob will work like the tucker. They got to know the right way how to touch him and how to cook him the tucker. Must take this the only mean that you got to save your how to work. You got to make sure that you save it you must also make properly sure way that you have the right skills for the job. to do this job. Kitchen and them tool, they got to be clean. Must be kept clean. New All that kitchen, to they got to fix them a properly way, the and way that the rule him say. You gotta tell him that boss straight away if they talk I am no good. If you think food has been contaminated or made dirty by something that should not be in it. Like this and now, you gotta tell him your boss if you find him all in like them box that and that mice him and make him. If they talk I am got him fly or I'm got him hair, you gotta tell him that boss straight away. You need to tell the boss. You got to tell him your boss if you sick straight away, or if you got him sore like your, your skin or like your hand. Uh, if if you think you got, or if you have sores on your hands, you should always cover them, wear gloves, or otherwise uh, just don't touch, don't go touching the food, because there's. You know that there's germs in the sauce, the cuts that you have. And if you're going to be making food, then cover your, wear gloves or something if you're preparing a meal. You, you can't smoke in the kitchen. And do not eat in the kitchen where you work. You wash him and dry him up your hand, big mob time. This way you can stop him that food poisoning. That boss, you need to teach him you how to touch him that food properly. Then people who work there and they're sick, they can touch him the tucker. All food in your All them tucker la shop, they, they should be all right, but I eat him. This you check him with that no good one taka and that taka that person him and bring him back. Kitchen, Kitchen they gotta be clean under this standards. rule. There are laws to that clean that one shop and them tool and make him easy one to stop him that food poisoning. Much easier to stop food poisoning. You have got to check them with them kitchen thing that been broken, that been broken or they've been uh, cracked crack or chipped. Or chipped. Well, I gotta keep everything and clean and sanitized. And surfaces clean and sanitized. Door and takeaway shop, they gotta have enough room, like I put them them tucker. For their equipment. They, they should, should have them hot the and cold water, like I clean them up. That are on that wash basin, I'm gonna be in the kitchen. For workers. And I'm going to be on the use wash him, hand like wash him your hand. That rubbish bin, rubbish you will have to keep him like a kitchen and empty him at big mob time. If you use a stove or equipment, if you use him that stove, you got to use him fan, fan, so you can stop him that grease, like over the wall.
Remember though, I'm not going to eat too much fatty foods. Keep when you're stuck at the right stuck temperature, I'm delivered got the big one bag, all of the truck. I'm sure you be sitting on the right temperature. Call one taka, you should have keep him long asky, got him ice. If him long way, the taka, I'm going to sit in like that refrigerated truck. The truck company, they got to make sure that taka, him, got that right temperature. If you're not happy, if you're not happy, got him that way when the taka, I'm in deliver, you can complain like that truck company. Or you tell him that environmental health worker. Um, we have um, we will have damage Tucker. Him really no good when you put him that vegetable like that freezer that come in, you know, that instead of that, vegetables in the that freezer, cool, instead room. Of cool room. When that vegetable you know, and that fruit, they, they won't keep him like that frozen th area. So they get watery so and they go no good. We never get him that fruit. Too much him in frozen, no, they never been cool him. If you're if stuck, you I am come, got him that truck, like your community. It's your you you got to make sure that, that truck is in a good place. Right let that right temperature and let it clean well. and they pack him up good one. Your environmental health worker, environmental health worker, health worker they can tell him you about that good way, they run him that shop properly. And take away safely. Remember all them things we've been talking about, like this video. Have him clean one hand, have him clean kitchen, cook them taco all the way through. That health department, they can help him you learn more things and that rules. But at the end of we the will day, all work together so we can stop them that food poisoning.